I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna stop, no, I'm gonna work harder. I'm a survivor, I'm gonna make it, I will survive, yeah, stop, keep stop, on stop, surviving. Stop, 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 I am stop, 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 you're not supposed to sing now, this is oh. not a sing day. Okay. So please have a seat until it's your okay, turn. Okay, I will. So we're, n we're not ready yet, we're, we're still building here. So please wait until we've fixed everything here. So now we're ready. So, very good. So, we're ready. Ready to go. Most welcome. <laughs> so, most welcome to uh, Sting Day 2013. Uh, this is Sweden's largest meeting place for tech startups and investors. Today we have 90 qualified entrepreneurs here, more than 90 qualified entrepreneurs. We have more than 100 investors. Where else in Europe can you find such a crowd in one room? There's more than one investor per entrepreneur. We also have a record number of international investors and industry representatives. We're really glad that you all are here today and most welcome to all of you. This is an invitation by only event, and therefore I would like to mention some of our main event partners. It's Vinova, it's Tillväxtverket, and EIT ICT Labs. So thank you very much for your support. This is our beautiful city. And Stockholm is an attractive place for starting an international growth company. So why is that? A couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the real top venture capital firms from Silicon Valley was here. And they gave me this explanation. Swedish entrepreneurs think global from the start. Swedish engineers are very competent and skilled, and salaries are reasonable compared to Silicon Valley. And Swedes, in general, are used to use new technique and are early adopters. So Sweden is an interesting place for as a test market. That's why companies like Spotify and Klarna, Transmode, Mojang, King, Skype, they are born here. And you entrepreneurs who are here today, um, be brave, uh, think big, you will also make it. We at Sting, we support the building of new companies, so we can, can sort of help with the building in early stages. We started 2002, um, we have admitted 113 startups to our business accelerator. 80 of them are still living, making progress, with a turnover of 50 million euro last year. The employee growth has been quite good also. Last year we were almost up to 700 employees in the Sting companies. And, as you see, the private investors also like the Sting companies. The accumulated investments in the companies is 165 million euro private capital. I will give you some examples of four really cool companies that we have helped. Diamorph. This company was born from an accident in a laboratory. It, w it was actually an explosion, uh, which resulted in a new material with a unique properties, really unique properties. They have now applications within both medtech and industry. They have a turnover of 30 million euro and almost 250 employees in several countries. 
Yubico, born 2007, uh, as a spin-off from a not so successful startup. But the devoted entrepreneur, Stig Nairensvärd, took the company very early to Silicon Valley and have since then had a double-digit revenue growth. And recently, during this winter, she signed a really interesting contract with Google. Midsummer. They were born in a garage, 2004, from experts in the CD industry. They have developed a really unique machine line with which they can produce thin film flexible solar cells. An extremely tough market. They have sold several machine lines and have a forecasted revenue of 15 million euro this year. That's a real challenge, I'll tell you, in that industry. And finally, um, Transic. Transic uh, was born by a professor at the Royal Institute of Technology in Shista. Actually, in the aftermath of a failed and closed down research program for silicon car carbides in, in Sweden. They developed silicon carbide transistors, for example, for hybrid vehicles. And the company was sold 2011 to Fairchild Semiconductors. So these are some uh, companies. Um, this is one of the reasons why this city and this country is continuing to be very successful in turning out new growth companies. So, now it's time to introduce the singer. Uh, for her, being an entrepreneur is not a profession, it's more a way of life. She says it has been a roller coaster ride between euphoria and falling into a black hole. She will tell you about her journey of the ups and downs and how she achieves her goals with her companies. And now she is not going to sing, now she has to talk. So, welcome Anna Klarin Blixt Modin. <laughs> This is another way to do this song. Uh, hi guys, really nice to see you here. Um, my name is Anna Clara Blixmudin, and I have been working as a singer before. And uh, um, I'm also founder of Stagepool and UB22 internet companies. Um, at the same time, I was uh, studying at the uh, university, theater science, I uh, really felt I had to follow my dream. And my dream was to become a musical performer. So at the same time I was in university, uh, I uh, started to uh, study musical and I really, really remember my first lesson there. I had my teacher and he gave us a little note. Uh, and he said, well guys, first day in school, now you have three minutes, write your goal on that piece of paper. And I was like looking at this piece of paper and I was like, oh, I don't have a clue. But that was really good, because I, then I already knew that I didn't know, so I can do something about it. And it's the same way with goals. There are so many different ways to achieve them. So after I worked as a musical performer a couple of years, and also as a TV presenter in Germany, I went to Gotland and Lands Theatern at Gotland as a musical artist. And I sat on this beach in October, it was 1998, and I realized I spent 90% of my time actually looking for a job and 10% of my time actually being on the stage. And you have to realize that this uh, this business that I was in, there's 93% of unemployment. So I knew I wasn't alone with this problem. And then I started to realize, what if, what if there was a 
point or a place where you can find all the jobs in one place and also look for them, all the castings and the auditions, not only in Sweden, but in Europe and Scandinavia. So I started in my apartment, in one, one room flat on Järdet, with a small piece of paper and like 20 jobs. And I started to send them out fold them, collecting all, all the jobs, and I had a couple of customers actually paid me for this. The problem is, I didn't earn any money, it was extremely expensive, and as you know, if you have an addition uh, or a casting, it could be like you have to be there in two days, and my issue with my 20 jobs only came out once, once a month. So, um, I did have to find out something else. Today, Stage pool improves the possibilities for the people in the entertainment industry. Last year we had uh, 70,000 paid jobs in Scandinavia and in Germany. We have about 100,000 registered members. We have an office in here in Stockholm and in Cologne in Germany. And I'm actually starting in Berlin today. And my passion is to help those people who want to work on stage and backstage to get a job. But of course, this was not to walk in the park. Um, most of the time, I felt like this guy. This is actually a robot, you can see that. My brother got like that kind of robot when he was seven. It said, I'm the atomic robot, I gave my greetings to everybody. And then he went and smashed into a wall. And then he backed up. And then he went into another wall. And then he backed up. Well, that is me. Actually, I am the atomic robot. I give my greetings to everybody. So, internet. I realized exactly as you probably understood already, this issue with 20 jobs and sending it out to 50 customers didn't work at all. Then you have to figure out some, something else. And I re really thought that internet would be the thing. You have to imagine, it was the year 2000, and when you ask someone, uh, can I have your email address, please? He would say to me, yeah, it's www. Yes, great, but that is not an email address. So, uh, and my timing was actually perfect because uh, the, the boo.com just crashed in the beginning of 2000. And I was thinking, I don't want to be here in Sweden. I just I want to be abroad. So the idea to go abroad, of course, I got it when I worked in Germany as a TV presenter, but... It actually came to win when I flew from Düsseldorf to Arlanda. You've all been to Arlanda. Yes. You see trees and a lake and one house. If you go over Düsseldorf, it's a little bit slightly different. It's actually living people there. So I would say, okay, why don't we go to Germany? And that is why we went to Germany. So, but I did know I had to find an investor and as you probably know, my timing was perfect, not, because I started to raise money in the end of 2000. Perfect. Um, and I was dreaming again. What would be my best, my top three investors for this project? It has to be someone who actually understands my business and who is international. And then I got three names. And this is somebody you might know, Björn Urvius from ABBA, Benny Andersson from ABBA, and also Per Gessler from Roxette. So, uh, I actually started to call these people. I went to Atomic Robert again, and I called Björn like 70 times, zero, uh, seven zero, right? 70 times, and then he accepted to meet me. And he has been an are still a person who helps us to also to come and go to here, to Germany. You probably think, that's logic, Anna. Perfect. They have 86 million people. That's wonderful. Um, but my uh, lesson here was don't be fooled by a big market. Because the only thing I heard, I was going there as a Swedish woman, not speaking very much German, and the only thing I heard was, Anna, das geht nicht. That means it won't work. Anna, das darf man nicht. 
that means Anna, that is not allowed. Und Anna, so macht man nicht in Deutschland. That means that is not the way we do it here in Germany. So, uh, I went to my colleague. She's a principal in one of the biggest schools uh, for entertainment in Germany. She's American. And she said, well, Anna, they say, if you can make it in New York, you can make it everywhere. Well, I say, if you can make it in Germany, you can make it everywhere. So, if some of you guys are going to Germany, give me a call first. But as you know, I said I was a singer before. And I was. And that's me like three years ago. No, no. Uh, it was actually, I was a part of a group. Uh, my name was Bicky Girl and Blue Monster. Does some of you remember the group called Aqua? Ooh, ooh, I'm a Barbie girl. Yes, somebody. Thank you. Uh, we were rather good, actually, in Asia. We were huge in Malaysia. We got a record deal with Warner Music. We also got a record deal with Avex, who uh, is the biggest uh, record company in Asia. And we sold a couple of hundred thousand tapes. Great. Problem here was that we got a couple of ore for every tape. And I realized that, okay, um, why is it like this, that the record companies take 85% of my royalties? Because I was not only the singer, I also write a couple of songs. So that made me to the other company that I started called Jubi2 in the beginning of 2008 and 2009. And I got this again. What if, what if there was a possibility for unsigned artists and musicians to put their music on a site for free and that we as a company, as Ubi2, would sell an ad as soon as the music is played? Sounds like a perfect idea. The thing was only that we had visitors from 95 countries and you can't sell a banner to 1,000 visitors from Uganda. It's very hard. So uh, what we did was that, uh, and also the banner, uh, the, 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 the payment for banners went, went down the drain. So I had to be the robot again. And uh, I asked my customers, I didn't know what to do. I asked them, what do you want? What can I give you? How can I help you? And they say, well, Anna, I, I, I just want to be, I want to have my music on Spotify. Okay, that's good. But as you probably know, you can't go to Spotify and say, hi, I have wrote a great song. Can I put it up? So you have to have an aggregator or a distributor um, to do this for you. And that is what Jubi2 does today. We are actually helping unsigned musicians and artists for a small monthly fee to pop their music to 500 channels uh, on the internet. So, what have I learned those past 13 years? Well, I will try to keep it short. Um, you're going to do mistakes. That's no doubt about it. You're going to do them. And somebody very wise told me, well, Anna, it's good if you also can afford to do, do the mistakes. And, and in my opinion, it's like you can hear from other people, but it's it is like with when, when you're doing the things yourself, that is when you really, really learn. So you are going to feel, I certainly I am, like this a couple of times. I am the little girl staring on the road. I know where I'm going, but I'm all alone. And um, for me, it's a very, very thin line between being really crazy and really, really goal-focused fo uh, and goal-oriented. And therefore, I, my, what, what I do when I feel lost is that I try to ask myself, why am I doing this? Am I having fun doing this? And if I don't know, perhaps I can ask my customers because they are the ones who pay your salary. What do they want? How can I help them to achieve their goals? And that's why we are here. So I will also say, not to be the, uh, so alone like this little girl, find the people that actually believes in you and that trusts you and, and, and wants the same things as you. That is one of my best uh, things to say to you guys. 
So, who survives? Well, Darwin said it's the survival of the fittest. Uh, and I believe, in my opinion, it's the survival of the people who are, who are most adaptive to change. You can do it fast, change with the market, and see other possibilities, other opportunities. So, I just want to say, go with your dreams, go with your passion, follow it. And as Churchill once said, everything is possible. The impossible just takes a little bit longer. Sky's the limit. Thanks. Please. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. As real entrepreneurs, we would like to give you a gift which helps uh, families in West Africa to start a company. Wonderful. So you'll Thank do you that. Thank you so much. Thank you very I will much. Do that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>